The replay was put in use for exactly what happened. And you've got a loser-loser game, you're in the eighth inning, and uh, that base hit means a lot to the game. I drive to left field, it's got a chance, and it hooks foul, and it's gonna ricochet up off the wall. The third base umpire went out, got a good, the best look that he could. It was very, very close, within just a couple inches. And he did make the correct call and called the ball foul, but it was very close. Well, I think this is why they have the replay. I mean, there's no better candidate for a call than this one. Now they're going to hook up, and you know what? When, it, when better to do it? Two outs, bottom of the eighth inning? We want to get it right. That's, the, you know, it's it means something. It's a championship that's on the line, and, and there's no official that's out there that would want to cost somebody the opportunity to win a championship or to advance to the next level. We want to make sure we get it right, and that's what, you know, replays for to check, and if we do happen to miss something, that we get it right. Well, the umpires will trot out to right, and we're going to... I believe have an instant replay situation here. The location of our replay was a little bit far away from the field. It was down the right field line, but the, the production staff did a great job. By the time the umpires got to the, to the monitor, uh, they already had the best angle queued up. It's, it's definitely tough. Yeah, it's tough. Okay, thank you. So a little bit of history is made here this afternoon as there's a shot of Bill Hayes and Jeff Henricks. That's the shot they saw. And they say that it supports Bill Hayes' call. The umpires in this particular situation only had to look at one angle and could clearly see that the ball was foul. Although it was close, it was clearly foul. 